This game is rated E for everyone. The commentary may not reflect this rating. Enjoy the video! Last time we had trouble with defeating the miniboss. Believe me, I will die more, more times whilst defeating the not-so-miniboss. <laughs> I like this name. Th that's name? They, sh they should just name it all um, the not-so-miniboss. The, the big boss. First, defeat the imprisoned Pulse Voice. Last, Stealth Pulse. That's a tip you need to remember. Without that tip, you aren't on a gonna be able to defeat this dungeon. So yeah. Well, you technically are, but... Wow. That was cool. Uh, yeah, the black hole basically pulls you into it and you need to fight the current. Which isn't that hard to do, at, as it is if it changes constantly. Because you run into the holes as you are pushing right to resist. At last, you got the map. Press the start button to look at it. And now I almost run into the hole myself. Which is always awesome. Now this side is really easy because you can just go right always. You can just go right always. Yeah, you don't need really. You don't need really. So open this door. Grab this sack. And open this chest. You got 20 rupees. Joy! Now before you go into this door. Grab your sack out. Go into the door. And there are more Mario references. Namely, Boos. But they're not called Boos. Because that would be bad. They're called Boo Buddies. Now if you defeat them all, you get the Power Bracelet. At last, you can pick up pots and stones. Yeah, I don't know if you just noticed that item we got. You will never have that again. Actually, yeah, see, it's gone. It's gone. You see, we can just run into pots without any problems. That's what you think, because if we put it in our inventory and run into a pot, you get the same story. Hmm. 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 Yeah, great game design, Nintendo. It's like the one thing about the game that isn't great. The rest is awesome. The rest is just perfect. But no, that isn't. Well, you can't have everything. It's an old game. You gotta give it some credit. Let's grab this treasure chest, which is a small key, which we can open the locked doors with. But now, we shall continue um, backwards. Because backwards is the way to go. Um, <laughs> yes. Okay, now let's not get sucked in. What is this? I am holding so hard right. Thank you. Now, the normal path would be to go here, but as you remember, there's a chest at the beginning, as you see the arrow pointing to. Um, that's right. So, we, we got, we gonna need to grab that. Now an easy way to go there is with the portal! And then we can just pack up the pot <laughs> and then pick up the paste. <laughs> okay. You got 50 rupees. Very nice. Whee! Now a funny thing is that in this dungeon that is called Battle Grotto, it's fun to notice that there are actually no bottles in this game. Like there are in most Zelda games. And you probably don't know if this is the first kill Zelda game you watched. But here we have the instance of yes, piranha plants. Yeah, they didn't have enough Mario Cameleos in there, so they added another one. Isn't that great? So now you gotta go here in order to smack him and don't get hit. And now here is the room in which you need to, de first to defeat the Imprisoned first and the Stealthos last. 
So yeah. Um. No, I should have kept that. So that is what we are going to do. Oh, I guess this is the only way to do it. Which, jeez. So, the imprisonment can only, which is a bunny, can only be finished with throwing a pot at it. Or not. And you can see the... Jeez. And then the keys. Don't go for the cell phones immediately. You need to defeat the keys first. And uh, yeah. So as the imprison is the hardest to defeat. Um, you really don't do that first. So be sure to know that you need to do that. While I am doing something that is very questionable. Let's go grab this chest. And it's not something, it's a Nightmare's Key. You can't go out of this dungeon without having the Nightmare's Key. Mm-hmm. Well, you can go out of it. I mean, you can't defeat the dungeon, as some would say. And, uh... Wow, keys. Um, what? Um, what? Um, what? Um, what? And let's go in. So here are... Oh yeah, yeah, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. <laughs> just a snap of your bare hands. Um, what? I gotta, I, I gotta, gotta get very. That's not who I wanted to hit with the bottle. Now we ha can now we ha continue. Now here's something fun. A weight puzzle. And alone, you can't weigh this down, but with two, you sure can. Now let's throw the bottle down. So here is the boss. Um <laughs> and now I will cut to the time when I defeat it. Because it's not going to be now. Ho ho ho! I am your bad guy this time! Ho ho ho! Yeah, yeah! You can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle! So yeah, okay. Wait until he throws fireballs. No, don't wait because you get in and then let him throw two fireballs and change direction. Otherwise you're gonna get hit with the fireballs and they do damage. And you do not want to take damage in this part of the uh, boss. Mmm, I can't move, but I am still alright, you little sword won't break this bottle. No, it won't. But guess what we have that is made for bottles? The power glove. Throw it against the wall, and you win. Um, there's no need for the rock feather in this, so just keep the power bracelet. Yeah, yeah, you can hurt me as long as I have my bottle. Okay, and one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then launch. He launches at you. You pick up the bottle and throw him against the wall. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my god. Nyah, nyah, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. <laughs> and on two, and a one, and a two, and a one, and a two, and a one, and a two, and a one. Oh. And smash. Pick up bottle and throw it against the wall. And now he becomes ghosty. Whoa. Wow! You broke. Wow, Luigi! You you broke my bottle. Why you you make me hopping mad? <laughs> and now slash your sword. Stand in the corner of the room. Slash your sword because you will come to me. It feels like it. Sometimes there are two ghosts. You don't hit him. This just there's no need to. Just wait until he comes to you and then just slash your sword. And you can take lots of damage in this, you can also take zero damage, which I am doing right now. Which is always fun to do. Okay, there's my first damage. It doesn't matter, guess what? Because he is dead. And I'm just gonna keep slashing until he dies. Spamming the button of slash. And now we're done. So let's grab the heart. The, the heart container! 
All right. So that went like the first time. I had a practice recording of this because the recording failed. I hope it didn't this time. I only find out after I'm done recording. Which I have like to do this five times before I finish. I also had to do the mini boss five times. Which this time I only had to do three times. So I am actually improving. Now that we've got our five heart container. Let's grab this. Conch Horner. Okay, and now we will see you next episode where we're gonna do some fun stuff with our dog, or not.